Well, police say the suspect was a habitual shoplifter, but he claims that's not true. News Channel 15's Aaron Rodgers dug deeper into this incident and actually spoke with the man this evening. Heather, he says it was supposed to be a quick trip to the hardware store that turned into one of the worst days of his life. Not, not cool. Not happy. The man says he's a loyal customer of Do It Best. He shops there all the time. He says the problem started yesterday. He was followed for a length of time before employees asked to look in the diaper bag he was carrying. They found nothing and apologized, explaining they had been missing stuff in the store and were following everyone with the bag. Today, he went back to buy some smoke alarms. He was walking around the store with his daughter when she started crying. I check her diaper and it looks like she needs a diaper change, so I look to make sure I got everything I need in my bag. Um, I unzip my bag and then around the corner comes this lady um, saying, did you just pull those out of your bag? And I was told that police were going to come and I don't want police to come and be questioning me and scaring my kid. I had all four kids with me. I didn't want my children scared. So he says he left because he felt he hadn't done anything wrong, but a guard tried to stop him at gunpoint. Pointed a gun at me and said, stop or I'm going to shoot your ass in your legs. He says that made him scared. So that's when he took off running. I've never had a gun pulled on me for anything in my entire life before. And I panicked. He was eventually located by officers and store employees claimed they had seen him before. Apparently he has visited many other stores and is a frequent shoplifter. When we asked him about that, he disagreed. I've never shoplifted a thing in my entire life. I've worked hard at my job. We checked his criminal record and nothing was found. The man says he believes he was profiled and it's a hurtful situation to be in. That's my only crime is, is taking my diaper bag in with my daughter and, and maybe even being half ethnic in a mostly predominantly white area, maybe I look suspicious. I guess it's my fault for, for being prepared for a crappy diaper. Police say even though this turned out to be nothing, they are still glad the guard called them. It seemed suspicious to him, and it was. It was suspicious. We had an individual who fled the scene of a shoplifting investigation, so it was suspicious. It just wasn't what he believed he was seeing. Heather, police tell us the man was released just a few minutes after he was apprehended by officers. He will not face any charges. He tells us he will not be returning as a patron of that store anymore. In Studio 15, Aaron Rodgers, News Channel 15.